Hi everybody, thanks for coming in for a video. I'm sitting on a chair that's a little squeaky, but it was only $4 and that's one of the things I got at the thrift store today. So I'm glad you're here for a jewelry, not jewelry, I was gonna say jewelry jarring jarring. But now I wanted you to see what's in my trunk that I hauled today from, well not just today, but it's been a couple of probably three days worth of thrifting and if you're new to the channel and you like to thrift guys I hope you like thrift hauls because that's what I love to bring you and this trunk has been a godsend. This is that lane truck trunk that I got what about a month ago and I used to just be able to lay all my stuff in the other room but then it would be a mess in there and I had to hurry up and do a haul and I am kind of hurrying up a little bit today because there's some things that I already want to wear like I wore this today. This I Washed it last night, but it's a uh, Ralph Lauren. Um, what is it called? Jeans, the jeans company one. What's it called? Denim and Supply. Ralph Lauren Denim and Supply. So I got this, this particular shirt, I believe, yesterday for like two or three dollars because yesterday was the discount day. So I love that. Let's be able to get a discount. Hi, Denise, Dora, Barb, everyone in the chat. EV, Doug. Hi, D Doug. How are you? And Perla's Precious is here as well. Those of you who are returning, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Those of you who are just getting here, I hope you subscribe today. I think you will like the content here. Again, we'll get started with the thrift haul very soon. This denim and supply from Ralph Lauren was about $3. I believe they're usually about $5.99. Or they're different because sometimes it, they say the long sleeves are this much and the short sleeves are that much. And sometimes they just... Price them all together, but I love this. It's a super kind of a, a not real thick flannel, so it's really comfortable. I like wearing other under other shirts underneath it, just kind of layering it up, especially when it's chilly. And then earlier today, I had a sweater over it. Here is that sweater. It's over here somewhere, I believe. And that was a. Um, how did I put it somewhere else? That was a. Um, Banana Republic. Here it is. I really love it too. It's very nice. I believe it's a cotton blend because it doesn't feel as as heavy as some cottons. But it's just a real nice crew neck. Is that crew neck? No, more like a boat net, I think. And that was a Banana Republic. Again, about 2 or $3. Wore that already. Really nice and comfortable. Layered it over this. And then as the day wore on, and it went up to about 60. But my classroom is so cold, so I kind of left it, you know, tied like this around me. All right, here is a J. Jill that I got. I love this blouse, guys. It is such a pretty top. This is another good brand. I used to pick this up to sell, to resell, but I haven't really been picking up clothing to resell that much. But I picked up a lot of clothing today, and I always... Figure, I don't try them on or anything, but I kind of know my size. Or if I pick out something for my daughter or something, I kind of figure if they don't like it, there's a market for it. So I really do tend to go to the uh, the finer brands. I don't pick up Forever 21 or anything like that or any Target brands at the thrift store because I figure, you know, they they don't have the durability that, that these quality brands do. So this is really pretty. It's even got like a texture. It's sort of a cream color with kind of uh, gray specks. Oh, let me show you the, the chair since I'm sitting on it. It's wood, it's really cute. I liked it for my desk. Remember I told you I was gonna get another chair. And I have another desk back here behind this built-in. So sometimes I had, a, I actually had the orange chair that I usually use in my jewelry hauls, that orange swivel chair, that's what I used to have there. Since I moved it over to my bedroom, I needed another chair. Then I bought the white one I showed you last time, but then I like this one just kind of here hanging out in the living room. So then I had to buy another one. So this one came out to about five bucks. It's really nice, it really is. I mean, it's well made. It's well made, grooves and everything are intact. It's a little squeaky here on my floor, but I love it. For five bucks, you can't beat it. Just can't beat it. And then I got a little back thing there. So anyway, this is, it's a long tunic. I like the little cuff sleeve. It's got some accent buttons on the back. like that a lot. I got this one. Two plus two equals four. Last time I checked, yes, two plus two equals four. 
So I love that. It's kind of a uh, play on words, numbers. <laughs> play on numbers. I don't know. You guys can kind of figure it out. I think it's cute. A lot of the teachers wear the craziest shirts and uh, like straight out of pencils or something like that. <laughs> so I thought this one would be cute. And I love the light color. Prefer this color sometimes, the light colors. All right. I've got a beautiful. Did I show you this one already? I don't think so. I love this doily, guys. It is stitched in cross stitch. Yes, it's probably. Do you think it's Christmas? Because these look more like roses than poinsettias. What do you think? And it's already been dry cleaned. I'll probably still wash it. But it's dry cleaned and just amazing. There are no stains on it. It's definitely hand done. You can tell they're hand done, guys. Somebody was asking about knitting, I think, in one of the groups. But in, in embroidery, you can always tell they're hand done because it's not going to be perfect. The ones that are done by machine, they're usually the same on both sides. Same thing with good carpets. The good carpet will not look like the picture replica in the back, okay? You'll see all that stitching and everything. But I love these. This is a beautiful runner. I don't know. Do you think? I don't think it's that Christmassy now that I look at it. Now that I look at it with the roses, and I thought they were poinsettias, but they're not. This was 50 cents. I don't know how I wound up getting it for 50 cents because normally the, the table runners are like $2, I believe. I love it. Hey, Cecilia, Lisa, Kathy, how are you? I'm glad you guys are here for the haul. Patty and Candy, Gina and Denise and Sylvia and Nora and Kim and Jen Bennett. Thank you guys so much. And Kathleen Wilson as well. So I like that. Then, okay, this was my idea. I've been really into wool and patterns. I mean, uh, plaids and tartans and just loving that as throws and scarves and everything. Real 100% wool, right? And then I found that Navajo blanket. So I had this, and it shrunk up a little bit when I washed it. So I had this brilliant idea. I thought it was brilliant, but I haven't done it yet. haven't executed it yet. And so the, the Navajo blanket, I washed it. And it shrunk up uh, not much, maybe... Uh, 10% of it shrunk up, but I thought it got a really nice texture and it still suited my, my needs in the bedroom as a carpet. And that's what I was thinking of doing with this, with a wool blanket is to shrink it up on purpose to felt it basically. But now I'm feeling really guilty about it and don't want to do it to this blanket because this blanket is new. It says throw blanket and I think I got it for $2 guys, $2 and it's still tagged with the store tags. And it's big. It's not a throw blanket. It's like like a twin size. It says Douglas on it. And I don't know if this was on the secondhand market or this is a vintage. This is Edinburgh Old Town Weaving Company. The Royal Mile, it says. Castle Hill. And then, see, this is the tag it had on it. But it might have been, I think it might be a vintage tag. Because it seems awfully cheap for a 100% wool blanket. And it's that beautiful black, I believe they call this kind of the black watch, a little bit kind of that pattern. It's got fringe. It's got another label. $2 is what I wound up paying for. Here's the other label. And what does it say here? Edinburgh Old Town Weaving Company, Castle Hill, the, the Royal Mile, 100% wool. So now that I'm looking at, you know, that the fact that it's a brand new one, I'm like, this would really look nice on my bed, too. Because <laughs> it would really, I mean, it'd be like a throw on a bed, but it's really more like a twin. It is big. It really is. What do you think, guys? Do you think I should shrink it up or just wait and find another one? It's a huge blanket. Huge. You can't beat wool, right? You just can't. $2 on that one. So now I'm thinking, I don't know. I've been watching some videos on how to felt, but a lot of them are done with, of course, knitting first, right? And I did some of that before as well. I used to buy like the old woolly sweaters and shrink them up. Not shrink them up, but felt them. Of course, they'd shrink too. And turn them into handbags. That was a big thing a few years ago in the knitting communities. So I've been watching some videos on how to do it right. But I'm getting kind of chicken now. I may experiment with an old used one first before I sacrifice this one. But for two bucks, right? Could not leave that behind. All right, then I got this one. 
My daughter's already claimed this one, but I was gonna, I think I wanted it for a, for a tree skirt. It's kind of a Hispanic, maybe Peruvian, I'm not sure, but it's just a huge, I guess a doily for the middle of the table. Isn't it gorgeous? Or any table for that matter. I would love this on my coffee table. I like layering things on my coffee table too, especially since I have like a metal dish right now full of rocks. Yes, I know, right? I don't think I'm gonna sacrifice. I think I'm gonna experiment first with a usual blanket, but I really love the plaid. I don't wanna get like an army cup thing, you know? Anyway, this was also, guys, about a dollar is what he charged for this one. I think they're like three, but it was on the discount day. Those are just amazing. They also have the little mirror discs. It doesn't have any kind of label on it. I thought maybe it would say, you know, made in Peru or something. So I can't really tell, but I'm leaning towards uh, South America. It's kind of beautiful. I love it. It's all embroidered, guys. It is all embroidered. Just beautiful. So, love that. All right, got that, got that, got the chair, got this shirt, this Banana Republic, got the Ralph Lauren plaid that I'm wearing. I found these yesterday. Now, I'm not really that big into the Starbucks for reselling. I always check them because some of them do sell. Like one time, I think I had a San Antonio and a Chicago, and the San Antonio is the one that sold for good money. And this one, they're selling for $10 or $12, but I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to start collecting the the UR ones, because this is a brand new one. You are here. And this one is from Colorado. No, this is Oregon. And they're really pretty. And they do, if I want to get rid of them, they, they are selling for 10 plus shipping. And I got them for about $1.75. Brand new, too. These are new. All they needed was the box. Hi, Kathy G. Hi, Joe Ellen Johnson. Jenison, how are you? And Cecilia is here. Patty, I think I said hello to Patty Smith. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Uh, so yeah, I couldn't resist this one and this one that was right next to it. This one is from Vail, Colorado. And they're so pretty. They really are beautiful. I can see why people are really gravitating towards the collection of these. But like I said, certain ones can go in the hundreds. I think many that, that were first put out, because these are kind of like a tradition now. But I know some of the exotic cities, and for some reason, San Antonio sold for a lot more than Chicago did, and I think I still have Chicago. I think I finally just took it off and decided to keep it. But I love that one, same price. And then for reselling as well, guys, always go for the logos of fancy cars, or collectible cars, or uh, popular cars, like, Trans Ams and Mercedes, Cadillac, they go quick. This one says Texas International Motors in the back, and it's got the phone number on it. So I guess it's a company here in Houston, but it's got the beautiful Mercedes logo. It's Mercedes-Benz. So I think I may put that up on eBay to resell it. Isn't that a cute mug? I love it. Okay, then I think I showed you the gold mug last time. I did get three jewelry jars. Gosh, I took a little footage today from another Goodwill. They wanted $25. These were $29. I got three. They wanted $25 for a jar, a bag that was loose and it was really lightweight. I don't think there was anything worthy in there. I'll show you that footage probably in a mini movie up on Instagram. If you guys are following me on Instagram. Uh, because I could not believe it. So this one's nice and heavy, and I got two others just like it. So it looks interesting. We'll open these separate, guys. You know we do the jewelry jars and the jewelry unjarrings separate, but it does look like a good one, and I bought three of them. I actually bought these not yesterday, so I didn't get a discount. I bought them Tuesday, but they wouldn't have been there Wednesday. They probably wouldn't have been made it through Tuesday because I got there about 5 they were still there. I was surprised. Okay. Then, what else did I get? Everything else I think is in this bag now. All right. I couldn't resist these. 
You know, we buy emotionally, right? Even the lady next to me when I was buying them, she said, oh my God, pickup sticks. I bought 24 giant pickup sticks for 49, no, for 59 cents. And they're so cute. I actually have never played with some this big. And these have a, like a little nub at the end of them. So this was my absolute favorite toy. One, I used to play marbles and I used to play pickup sticks a lot. Let me see. Oh my goodness, yeah, it's really strange. I have to open it here. And look, this is the original price. Sterling, I've never heard of that store. $2.49, that sounds about right. Um, yeah, our Goodwill is doing crazy things with their jewelry. But, you know, it's funny, they, uh, they were had them really high and then they reduced them at some of them. And then some of them are not selling them anymore because they said there was arguments over them. So it's crazy. I don't know what they're going to wind up doing. Anyway, these have the little nubs at the end. I have never played with some like this. You see that little nub? The ones I used to play with were pointy. But this is pretty cool because you can move them out of the way. And they're a really, really nice plastic. I love them. Hey, Kelly, how are you? So pickup sticks, yes, definitely my favorite game. That and marbles and jacks. Jump rope, I was okay at it. I was always tripping though, so that was not my game. I it was better at jump rope. But that was my game and so was marbles. Okay, let's look in the bag, guys. I got an Armani. I got an Armani skirt. I could not believe it. I picked out the skirt because I just, I love the pattern. It's a geometric pattern. I love the way it felt. It feels like cashmere. It is 100% wool. It says do not wash, <laughs> of course. And there's the uh, label there, Giorgio Armani. And then it says made in Italy as well. This is an amazing skirt. It's got a zip on the side. It is so soft and pretty. I thought it was going to be, a, you know, one of those rough, wooly type skirts with the with the satin lining on the inside. No, it's just as pretty on the inside. I just love it. And when if it doesn't fit me, or if I get tired of it, I know I could probably get about anywhere from eighty to one hundred dollars for it. I have found another Armani skirt at Salvation Army years ago. It doesn't fit me anymore. But oh my goodness, I love it. Yeah, I just picked it out of the rack because I loved it. I loved the pattern and the feel of it, but it turned out to be Giorgio Armani. So that was a steal. A steal of a deal today. This one, it, I don't even think it has the, the make on it, but I love the pattern, kind of a tapestry pattern. And it's got a little stretch in the back. Good length for me anyway. And it's kind of a satin feeling, silky feeling one. It doesn't, it's probably polyester, but it's a very nice silk feeling skirt. And I like the subtle colors of it. Still nice fall colors. I've really been rethinking my wardrobe and rethinking about, you know, I gave away a lot of clothes and that's fine. I don't regret that and I'm still doing it. But I really have been getting a little bit lazy with my with what I put on. I've just been, you know, jeans and, a, and like today, you know, it's like a casual Friday and I kind of look casual and I like to dress up, but it's been like, I haven't really been planning it. And then I gave away so many, some of them don't fit. Some of them I just gave away. I, I think I have two dresses. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to buy some, some new things out, some new duds at the Goodwill. This was uh, Talbot's. This is Talbot's. It's also really, really nice. It's not scratchy or anything. Really pretty pattern on this one, too. I think it's got a walking slit in the back. Yeah, a little short walking slit. This one's probably to the knee. And the colors in here are purple, red, rose. Pretty colors in this one, too. So, yeah, I've been really rethinking that and, and how clothing really sets your mood. It does to me. And how it defines you and how people... Uh, 
This is halogen. I believe this is a good brand. A lot of resellers pick this one up. This is another really soft kind, almost like a thick sweatshirt material. But the tailoring on it is really nice for work. So anyway, so what I was saying, you know, people, people know who our principal is. She's got a blazer on. She's got a blazer on. She's always got, even if she has jeans, she has a blazer on. She looks authoritative, you know, authoritarian, authoritative, whatever the word may be. And I think, especially when you meet with parents and all of that, I don't know, that's just the way I feel. I normally do dress nice, but I gave away a lot of my clothes. So I didn't have any dresses and everything, so I was like, I need to go buy some. So that's what I did today, and I'm going to probably purge my closet again. This is from Jag. This is a really good brand as well. I know they used to sell this at one of the finer stores that I worked at years ago. It might even be this one, actually. I don't know why I think it may not be the same one I'm thinking of. I was thinking of one that was made in the UK, but that might have been another one. Um, anyway, this feels like cashmere as well on the sleeves. Really nice. I'm sure it's not just poly, but it's a very soft knit here. It's got a really pretty, almost like a little uh, pop art splatter paint on it. Beige, grays, and blues. And then this is charcoal sleeves. And this is a nice roomy comfy dress you know you don't have to have any binding or waist or anything to worry about so i love that love dresses with boots especially so i want to take advantage of the last couple of chilly months i love this one too this has got a little bit of an aztec print at the top it's an andrea something i can't even read it and it's very silky as well and it's just a nice roomy blouse too. I just really like this one. It's kind of a denim, like a stonewash denim pattern. And I like the fact that the Aztec pattern is very subtle and only on the yoke there. I think that's really cute. I love this blue as well. Okay, and then again, I'm feeling the, the urge to put a blouse on, to button something up, to put a belt with it maybe, to tuck it in, you know? So I picked this one up. This one's so pretty as well. And this one has a little roll up, you know, sleeve that you can button up. This is by Loft. And it's just a little poly blouse with uh, the little pockets. Really pretty colors. You can't quite see it there without the hanger, but beautiful colors of charcoal, sky blue, white, grays. And it can be... Um, it can be worn out, actually. It's not, you know, a cut that you have to tuck it in, but I would really like to tuck it in with some slacks or a skirt. I think it's so pretty. And then you can roll up that sleeve as well. It's got a little epaulette there, whatever it's called. And then, of course, my boho came out again. That's another thing. I must have 20 boho shirts and maybe 10 white shirts, white boho shirts. I need to get rid of them. I just have to mean I get like on this kick. This is Lucky Brand. Again, all of these tops were, I get I got them today. They were $4.99 or $5.99, depending. I don't know why it depends, but it does. It even depends on where they put that little yellow tag. She was telling me if they put the tag back here by the label, I think they're $1.99. Anyway, I love this sleeve too. This is a really nice fabric too. It's not chiffon, it's more like a really thin cotton. It's got a cute little bell sleeve, but I gotta be careful with the bell sleeves too, because sometimes they're so long, they really are cumbersome. But that one's cute. All right, I don't know why I couldn't resist this one. I think it was the color. <laughs> but it's a little boho too. But I'm gonna put probably a black uh, t-shirt, a long sleeve black t-shirt with it. And I just love the dusty rose color. I could not leave it behind. And I like the fact that it's got this little um, kind of a tailored sleeve there. So I'm trying to go a little bit more structured too. And as I was saying, it just seems like, you know, what you wear really speaks before you do. And I really think that I just need to address that and go back to getting dressed in the morning and feeling like, you know, I need to get to to working and, and talking and and talking to people and be ready. And I got this little tin too. 
Isn't that the cutest Starbucks tin? This is the anniversary. I think it's the, it was an anniversary edition of some kind of cookies. It's a tin. And this is a uh, depiction of the very first Starbucks. And that was only 99 cents. So I thought I would put it up when I start getting that huge collection of my Starbucks, because I do have a huge collection, but I'd like to start like with the uh, You Are Here mugs or something, at least a few, and then maybe display it with this little tray. Isn't that cute? I love it. Got the little man there, the man out there with his little can of, little cup of Starbucks walking out, people walking their dogs. And this was the original store in Seattle, I believe. So I love that. <laughs> what have you guys been doing lately? Did anybody find anything fantastic this week? And what do you think about the haul? That is it. That is my haul. I believe that's it. Maybe I've got another. See how everything just fits in this fabulous trunk. Oh no, here's something else I got. So we can play a trivia game next time. 50 cents. We can play a trivia game for a giveaway. Cards. From film, I don't know why I showed you that. Film trivia. Are any are there any movie buffs out there? It's just so cool too, because you know sometimes people are just hanging, coming into the channel. They may not know me, but they may know movies, and they can get a chance to win something. Well, hi Donatella, or maybe they can get a chance to win free shipping at my auction on Facebook. In what city does Spider Man live and protect? Those are easy. So we can start playing these trivia games. <laughs> I thought it would be fun to do, like with the people that get to my auction early or when I want to give away some jewelry. We could do that. So I got this for a dollar. 99 cents. Oops, put it in the wrong one. Thanks, guys, for hitting that thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. Again, if you're new to the channel, I hope you enjoyed the content. Content. And I hope you took the time to subscribe today. I am going to let you go because I'm going to put all of this stuff away. I'm going to launder it and all that stuff. <laughs> Thank you so much, Doug. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll let y'all go. I will see you at a jewelry on jarring. I guess we're going to do one of these or one of the ones my husband bought for $69. I think we still have a $69 one and a $49 one. But I'm kind of curious about these anyway. Because we did find, actually the last time I bought from that store, we found that little James Avery heart in there. So I have a feeling there still might be good things in here, but I did leave those other ones behind that I saw today that were really, really lightweight and nothing in there for $25. I was like, no, we'll just stick with the, with the heavy ones at least. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you guys soon. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and come back. Probably tomorrow we'll do a jewelry jar or I'll do one tonight. I'll try to record it. Maybe I'll upload it really early in the morning. Have a good night, guys. Thank you.